Dude, that was Big Boy. Yeah, that was him. He's a big body buck. Oh, how about it, dude? I'm so jacked right now. So, um, down here in the creek bottom, we're gonna be putting in a food plot, right around the corner there. Most of our tools and stuff right here. So we're gonna be putting in this food plot in Antler King Honey Hole. So I'm gonna be showing you what all we're gonna be doing so that you know how to plant, when you should plant it, why you should plant it, everything that you should need to know about Antler King Honey Hole. So, are uh, getting us done here it's 90 something out here it's just like cooking yep that is the temp right there so we're down here to uh, work on the food plot today got my grandpa on the tractor it's supposed to rain later on so we're Trying to beat the rain. So we got done pretty well with the thing. As much as we're gonna do next step is just to seed it and then we're done. Now I'm um, out here. I was just stomping this stuff down a little bit here to get it to get the uh, seeds into the soil. My grandpa and Cody are out there driving right there, so just trying to get the stuff into the soil good. Right, uh, right there's the tree stand, so it's gonna be pretty sweet. I was just up there, and it looks it's it's gonna be a sweet setup if this stuff comes up good, which is why we're packing it down. So here is the finish for what we're gonna do today project. Um, we started over here, mowed the whole way around here, went back there again, and then we went back and forth. And several, I think we tilled this a total of two times today, and then um, we went and I kind of was raking it, trying to get it smooth. I went and broadcasted everything, and then my grandpa and Cody tried to dro drive over everything as much as they could to get it into the soil. This is at least at least a half acre, I would say, 65 yards to that end from this side to this side, 35 yards. So this is gonna be pretty sweet. I really can't wait get to wait to get back here in two weeks, three weeks, see how it looks. Okay, we made it down here to the food plot. I do believe it is 16 days later. And here she is. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there she is. All right, so it's been a little while since we were out here at the food plot. We planted this probably 
months, two months ago. A month or two ago. Look at this stuff. That is literally two feet tall. I'll pull one out and show you how big it is, but we planted this stuff July the something. It's got a lot of weeds out in the middle. We didn't really spray that. Literally, look at this. This is how big. This is how big this stuff is. I mean, that's just, that is a giant. But the main reason for us being out here today is to make a mock scrape. I think we're gonna probably put it down at that end of the food plot with the camera sitting right there. Okay, so we have low battery, can't talk very long. But we got the mock scrape finished. Okay, so it is December 11th right now and I'm out here in the Antler King Honey Hole food plot. Um, it came up fairly nicely. Everything else around here is dead. This stuff is kind of green. It's kind of a, a bluish green. It's a little weird, but it grew some decent bulbs. Just random size bulb here. That's, that's a little smaller than average. It's got a little bit of bug damage or something or else it's starting to decay. There's quite a few bulbs in here. I'm not really sure how much the deer have been eating this stuff actually because we didn't have a trail camera right over here. But I know the deer were in here some because our mock scrape 15 yards away from me right now got rubbed. Uh, it's rubbed and there was several deer on there but we don't have a trail camera overlooking that right now so we don't know exactly what caliber of deer are in here. I don't know how long this will last yet. January, February, March or something like that that the deer will actually come in here and eat the bulbs. As far as how I would rate it, I'm not exactly sure. I think as far as the product itself, how it grows, what I would have done differently, I would have planted it closer to the hunting season so that it would be young and tender as a deer eat it instead of as a late season food source. There are some weeds in the food plot. I would recommend spraying it before you do that. We did some, but it didn't really kill much because the grass is so thick. So stay tuned for what we're gonna be doing with this food plot next year. I think we're going to be planting clover in here as a long-term investment. Um, Whitetail Institute clover should hopefully last from three to five years. So we're thinking maybe putting in oats, creating a soft edge of oats around the edge closest to our stand if we're blind or whatever we choose to hunt out of here. So I think this can be a great food plot if you have a great location for it where there's cover close to the food. Um, in this case, we don't really have good cover. Super close, the deer have to cross a creek and whatnot. So I wanna try a more early season and basically all year long strategy next year and for the coming years with planting this in White Toe Institute clover. So stay tuned for those videos. Thanks for watching this video about Antler King Honey Hole and hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We're gonna be dropping our deer hunting video soon from this year. So this is just uh, my thoughts on this food plot and hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, subscribe, hit the like button and turn on those bell notifications and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching Buckeye Bowhunters. Dude, you're literally pointing it at the ground. Grew some decent bulbs, just random. So it's like a bluish green with a whole bunch of different stuff in it. Uh, yeah, whatever. Food plot next year. We're going to be dropping our uh, 